Hello everyone, 안녕하세요. Welcome to another episode of Korean Through Photos, and I'm your teacher for this lesson, Hyunu. In today's photo, we're not looking at any sentence, but a lot of words. So that's good, right? So as you can see, this photo was taken at a gas station or in front of a gas station, really. And you see many words that are related to, well, filling up your car with some fuel. So let's get right into it. So the first word that you can see right here is 지경 주유소. 지경 주유소. And of course, it has this brand name, SK, SK 지경 주유소. SK happens to be just one of the many brands in terms of, well, gas stations. So, 지경, what does it mean? 직접 운영 is shortened to 지경. So, you know, you can franchise out your brand and many people can pay the franchise membership fee and then they run the store. But 지경 or 지경점 means it's just a branch retail store. It's directly managed or directly run by the company. So 지경점 would also be something that you can often see here and there. So 지경주유소 meaning it is run by SK. It is not run by some individual that pays some membership fees to SK. It is run directly by SK, 지경주유소. And then what are they selling? They are selling a bunch of different types of fuels. And the first type of fuel you see here is 휘발유. 휘발 you. 휘발유 means gasoline and 휘발유 has a very interesting meaning because 휘발 or 휘발성 means volatility. 휘발성이 높은 would be highly volatile. Okay, so gasoline has a high volatility, so that's why gasoline is called 휘발유. Sometimes people can say 가솔린, but when they're actually differentiating between different types of fuels, they just say 휘발유. And then Below it is 경유. 경유. 경유 is diesel. 경유. So 휘발유 and 경유. Something that you wouldn't really expect, right? Really easily, just based on Konglish. So you need to know these Korean words. And then behind this banner, you see 공공기관, 유류 공급, 지정 주유소. So let's break down everything. So 공공기관 means public institution or government office. And then 유류 공급, 유류, what is 유류? 유 meaning oil, 류 meaning type or category. So 유류 is just generally oil and 공급 is supply. So 공공기관, 유류 공급, oil supply for public institutions or government offices or even government officers. And then below those words you see 지정 주유소. 지정 means to appoint someone to something or something to something. So appointed gas station. So this particular gas station is appointed or has been appointed for supplying oil to public institutions, maybe at a lower price. All right, let's move on to the next one that's behind it. So you see 주유 할인. 주유 할인. So right here, we're talking about, of course, some kind of discount because 할인 is there. 할인 meaning discount and 주유. And in the beginning, I said that this was taken at a 주유소, gas station, 주유소. And then if you know that 소 means a place, what does 주유 mean? What are you left with? Well, 주유. Putting in oil is 주유. So sometimes when you go to self-serve gas stations, you see 셀프 주유 written on some places. So 셀프 주유, 주유 meaning the action of putting in gas in your car. And then 주유 할인 is like discount on putting in gas. And what are they talking about here? They are talking about this particular type of members card or membership card, Happy Auto Members Drive. Whatever it is, if you get it issued, you can get 추가 20원 할인. 추가 is additional, so you can get an additional 21 discount per liter, I guess. And then let's move on to the next one. Next banner, standing banner is saying 판매. 판매. 판매 meaning selling, sale or selling. In this case, not sale, not 할인, but just the act of selling. And then what are they selling? 고급 휘발유. 고급 휘발유. 고급 means luxurious or high quality. In this case, high quality, I guess, and 휘발유. High quality gasoline. They're selling high quality gasoline. So that's that, and uh, nothing really that interesting over there. And uh, on this banner that's behind it, there is something really interesting. So what does it say? 외상 거래. 
외상거래. 외상거래 is something that used to happen quite frequently in the past, more frequently in the past than now, because 외상 is credit transaction, or 외상거래 itself can also be the whole thing can be credit transaction. So 외상 is basically uh, people say it in a sentence like 외상으로 사다, 외상으로 달아놓다, things like that. So you're just promising to pay them later. You're not even giving them any credit card information. It's just some promise, verbal promise. So 외상거래 means you can just say, hey, give me 20 liters of gasoline or diesel and then my company will pay you later. Just verbal promise. No credit card transaction, nothing, just 외상. Okay, so that is 외상거래. And below it, obviously, they are not just going to do it for everybody. They are going to need some consultation to get to know you. So it says, consultation welcomed. In Korean, that is 상담 환영. 상담 환영. And they have a phone number conveniently available there. They just want you to call them anytime. 상담 환영. All right, so that wraps up this episode of Korean Through Photos. We've looked at the many interesting words that are related to fuels. So please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. And if you want a particular topic or any interesting place to be covered in the series, please let us know and turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of our new lessons. Well, thank you very much. 감사합니다. 한국어 공부 재미있게 하세요. Bye. 지경. 지경. 지경점. 지경점 주유소 주유소 휘발유 휘발유 휘발성 휘발성 경유 경유 공공기관 공공기관 유류 공급 유류 공급 지정 주유소 지정 주유소 주유 할인 주유 할인 추가 추가 판매 판매 고급 휘발유 고급 휘발유 외상 거래 외상 거래 상담 환영 상담 환영